Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to introduce my husband. <laughs> yeah, no, he prefers to stay mysterious. But for real, welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm really excited to share another video. So, if you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Julianne, and I make lifestyle, sustainability, and sometimes kind of budgety videos. So if you're interested in any of that, then please hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot. Also, I'm just noticing like how much my uh, skin tone matches this shirt. So like, you know, I am clothed. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, I made a video about 50 things that I stopped buying both for budget reasons and for sustainability reasons. So if you haven't watched that, then go watch that after this video. Um, but for today's video, I am going to talk about 10 things that I still buy that might be contradictory to budget and sustainability. I think it will be easier to break this video up into two sections. So the first bit is going to be things that we buy to save money and things that we buy to not, not save money, but fit our lifestyle. So number one of the things that we still buy to save money is packaged coffee. I know that it's possible to buy coffee beans in bulk and then you're saving on the packaging, but for us, that is just out of the question, not sustainable for us because it's quite a bit more expensive. Another thing is that my husband doesn't even drink coffee and so it's really only me. So when we buy like a kilogram pack of coffee beans, then it does last quite a long time and it's not like we're going through them so much. So the next thing that we buy to save money is actually sunscreen in like regular plastic packaging. I know that you can get sunscreen in glass or aluminum packaging, but that's the thing. I, I think for skincare and cosmetics, getting it zero waste usually means buying from a more luxury brand or at least a more expensive brand and for us that's just not possible at the moment. I would really like to try the Meow Meow Tweet sunscreen but for now I'm just using the La Roche-Posay sunscreen and that one's like SPF 50, really good. I got, I don't know what size I got but it's been lasting me for like a year now and I use it every single day. That's something that I haven't really been able to give up. Just in the last year, I've been really getting into skincare and taking care of my skin. And to do that perfectly sustainable can be difficult and it can require you to spend a bit more money. That's my hot take. The next thing that we buy to save money is some vegetables. How do I explain this? Um, in my grocery haul video, if you guys saw that, I explained about how we bought mushrooms at Aldi that were on sale and they were only a euro for a package. And of course it was all in plastic packaging, but for that price, it doesn't make sense to go and buy it in bulk when it's gonna cost a lot more. So that's something that we do to save money. And uh, yeah. Also something I'm like really curious about is like, for the overall well-being of the planet, what's more important? Being vegan and still creating plastic waste or being plastic free but not completely vegan? But also it's kind of hot difficult. Or do you need to do both? Or like, ugh. The next thing that we buy to save money and something that we really put money into to save money is new items that are really good quality. So for example, a long, long time ago, when I was in high school, I bought my first pair of Blundstones. Those are pretty expensive boots. I think they're like $200 or something, at least, if you buy them new. But the thing is, is they've lasted so long and I was hard on them. <laughs> and so last year for my birthday, my husband actually got me a new pair of Blundstones. These ones, I'm 
wanting to take better care of so that they last a lot longer, but they're already like six months old and they look brand new pretty much. And so things like that, especially like shoes, we try and buy like our staples, more like basic and good quality so that they last a lot longer because if you're getting like cheap shoes and you have to replace them every few years then that adds up quite a bit and you end up spending less money if you're buying a high quality more expensive shoe one time and then you don't have to replace it as much okay so that's all for the money saving section now let's get into the section of things that we still buy to fit our lifestyle and so the first thing is kind of odd, <laughs> but shampoo and specifically like a scalp treatment shampoo in like regular packaging. And I want to say this because I did get my first shampoo bar and I've been using it for a while and I do like it. I do enjoy it. It, 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 it does leave my hair feeling nice afterwards, but after like a month of just using that, I feel like some, I feel like I need a really deep cleanse and something working on my scalp. And so, and so that's when I'll use a, like a scalp treatment shampoo, something to really deep clean. And that's something to like keep in mind is yes, okay, we are buying a regularly packaged shampoo. But the fact that like I'm only gonna use it maybe once a month, it's going to last us such a long time compared to if we used it like every day. And for right now that's working, I do want to experiment with other shampoo bars to see how they treat my scalp and stuff, but I don't want to like buy shampoo bar after shampoo bar just to test a bunch of different ones. Um, like I'm gonna work through the one that I bought already because I do enjoy it mostly. That's our plan for that. The next thing that we still buy that isn't like perfectly sustainable is medicine. Like medicine packaging where it's like the individual capsules, everything is separated. But you know, like if I get a cold, not Corona, a normal cold. <laughs> if, if I get sick, I want to take medicine. And that's something I don't really know how people who say that they're like perfectly zero waste. I mean, that's an illusion. But how do they get medicine? I don't even know. So yes, we do still buy medicine and we always will because we want to stay healthy and we don't want to suffer through a cold when we don't need to. The next thing that we still buy are books. Not so often, but occasionally we do buy books. I think you can't replace the feeling of a book and when you get like a fresh new book and then flip through the pages, it's so relaxing and nice. And also my husband really likes books as well. That's something that we're not really giving up yet. And also eventually, like when we have a house, I want to have like a little mini library because I think that would be so nice. I just finished reading last week um, a book called When Breath Becomes Air and oh my gosh guys, it was a journey. It was hard. I was like bawling at the end. It was, it was good, but it was bad. Um, so <laughs> if you want a book, that's a really good one. So the next thing that we still buy is candles. I love the idea of Higa, is that how you say it? And warmth and coziness, especially in the winter when it gets so dark. I think seasonal depression is real <laughs> and we need to take care of it. And honestly, like having candles just makes you feel happier. And I like that. So I do keep two more natural scented candles and natural based ones, um, but I still do buy candles. Right now we have like a chai scented one. Oh, and it's so good. It's so nice. Okay, so the next thing that we still buy, unfortunately, is snacks and sweets. I do live with an adult German man. He's also my husband. <laughs> 
Sometimes I think the quantities that he's able to consume is like alarming and <laughs> he has quite a sweet tooth, also like a savory tooth, it's just bad. So he does do quite a bit of shopping for chocolates and sweeties and chips <laughs> and I try to limit his daily intake but he has a will of his own and I can't control that. It does add to our combined waste, but I can't stop him from doing that. So that will continue. So the next thing and the last thing, but also the most like controversial and important thing that we continue to buy and that we will always continue to buy over all those other things probably is airplane tickets. Unfortunately, we are an international couple. My husband's family is in Germany. My family is in Canada. No matter where we're living in the world, we have to get airplane tickets to go and visit our families. That's not an option for us any other way. I mean, I think it'd be totally rad to be like Greta Thunberg and sail across the ocean to get to other countries and continents but that doesn't really like suit our lifestyle and like we don't got time for that <laughs> so that's a pretty big ticket item that we are always budgeting for in case we need to fly i think eventually when we have a bigger income and we're able to spend more money we would look at offsets for when we buy flights um, but for now, that's not really a possibility for us. Like, I, it kind of sucks because that is like the one thing that is contributing the most to global warming and climate change. But unfortunately, I don't want to say there's nothing we can do about it because there are like offsets and stuff that we can do about it. But for at the moment with our budget, yes, we have to get on a plane and we have to go see our families. And when we are able to then we would get offsets for that. So thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, remember to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any like video requests that you want me to do, then leave them in the comments and that would be kind of fun to look at. Um, but yeah, have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next Saturday. Bye.